Greetings everyone, this is Lodric and this is the game uh, One the Pacific Admirals Edition. This is my plea by email match against Kilroy, he's the commander of the Allied Forces and for me it is the Empire of Japan. This is now the 16th April 1942 turn, the second day after the first wheel carrier engagement between Japanese and uh, American uh, carriers and this was more or less I think a tactical victory for Kilroy. Uh, I lost less airplanes uh, but I have more damaged ships but none of my ships sunk or is in Mm, a direct uh, threat to be lost. So if I can continue my retreat to Japan in the next two three days, I will maybe safe be safe. Oh yeah. So there was no night engagement. Okay, there are you some submarines here to mine Ishijima. Luckily, I have local minesweepers and to clean up this immediately. So, no detection. Yeah, no detection of enemy carriers. Maybe, I mean, Kilroy lost uh, a lot of, of his uh, strike bombers. So he also may be turned around and uh, don't want follow and come too close to Japan. Then the bombardment in China, this time I go for Yenan because I believe the crossing of the river is happening this turn. Then I must create war. I am forced to make a shock attack on Yenan. This looks all fine. Also, still try to keep some damage on the airfield of uh, Rangoon, but it's very hard to hit out of twenty thousand feet uh, something on the ground, especially this four hundred kilogram bombs. Ugh. And yeah, the British New Zealand Air Force also trying their best to slow me down and a little damage. The Hudsons are always in long range, achieving not much, but they slowing me down. They always they kick one of my units out of uh, movement mode to combat mode. Uh, it is only a matter of time that I can conquer the northern part of Burma. No air activity in the afternoon. Mm. 
So Dobo is also close to fall. Yeah. So this is now my northern army. We're taking this Chinese Yunnan army war area too. I have here strong Japanese uh, divisions. Not everyone is at full capacity, but there's enough against this. I think starving Chinese forces, there's not really much supplies here. Too long time they already are cut. And this is also why they have no, they have no base nearby and maybe out of supplies and then they trigger the sur surrender. Surrender, 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 surrender. So perfectly, all of these forces are destroyed. 1200 attack value destroyed in one turn. Uh, I suffer your high disabled units, but only disabled. Nothing really getting destroyed. So not many points for Kilroy. And for me it is uh, 62,000 Chinese getting destroyed. 17 units. Uh, now or less on the table. The same here in Catherine, I cross the river and the Australian cannot hold the line. They're retreating, so they're not destroyed. But again, I catch up and there's simply not enough attack value to hold the line. I have here some disabled units, but again, only disabled, nothing destroyed. And the Australians have a uh, mostly destroyed uh, support units and guns. The rest is minor. So, nothing happened in the air war, but uh, no submarine engagement or navy stuff. But very successful Chinese operation. Now the biggest army behind the lines, the Yunnan army is destroyed. So I can bring my Chinese, oh yeah, well, my this uh, northern Japanese Chinese army uh, around and use him for something else. So this was uh, the big change in this turn. A lot of points, maybe also for me. I'm not so sure. Chinese troops don't count so much. The so air war was light. I have only standard consumption of. All of my air, came, air bombardment campaign in China, of course, uh, will create some ops losses. Ship sunk, nothing. So points, we are now at 29,000 to 6,000. Well, it's, yeah, roughly. So it's a... So far, it looks all very fine. There is still some forces here in this yeah, mountain... Rough terrain, but I think I will bombard them simply with air force. So I have now this army ready, four and a half thousand attack value, little out of supplies. Uh, so I have to normally bring them back to a main base or the high, it's a big uh, railway. So then I have let them maybe rest for one or two weeks because some of these units are really disabled or have high numbers of disabled squads. And uh, it would be a waste to rush them to the next location. Uh, the question is also where to go now. This is also far away. I could maybe rail them down here and help in the center. Ah, yeah. uh, Burma, no change. I try to walk north. Uh, but the Wellingtons always attack me, so I am now in combat mode here. This is a move mode. So one unit gets always kicked out. Ah, yeah. uh, I think my carriers in Singapore are still here, yes. So I finish all damage. It's done. I must maybe fill up the air wings still. Oh, this looks fine. Looks also fine. 30. Yeah. Okay, here's one air wing missing. 
this is a escort carrier i don't know if i will use it because it's a little slower you cannot go with a high speed you can see that the escort carriers are simply uh, uh, for escorting of convoys mainly and maybe for old slow battleships it's still possible uh, not for real carrier task force uh, there's really not more much Dutch unit day bases back Dobo will fall and here's one mm, not important base maybe I will pick it up sooner or later in Australia also success Catherine also fall so I will still trying to catch this Australian forces if they're running away so there's still many points I can catch and if I destroy this forces there uh, I mean, they are all broken, and I think there's not much reinforcements for the Australian. This needs a long time to rebuild them or refill them. But if I can destroy them, it simply gives me even more time before there is some uh, possible counterattack coming. Uh, New Zealand. I tried to outflank Kilroy, but now he already come here with a unit uh, at the coastline, so he also outflanked me. I don't know if how strong this is. These are two units. Uh, I only know I arrived already with the main four. No, uh, with most of my forces I arrived in Auckland, but I need one more turn to it before I can attack. This unit is also highly disrupted. This is uh, the air attacks always uh, giving some pressure on me. So I have also the choice to attack with this forces and hopefully 850 attack value. It may be supplies for two attacks. Mm. It's all very tight. Uh, no other ship sighting here at the Marshall Islands. South Pacific is okay. Wake, I have no forces there more. Marcus Island looks also fine. I try to get my submarines in position, but at the end, I see them like Kilroy. It's very hard. The carriers are always moving, so you must normally guess where is the enemy going. Sometimes you are lucky, but most of the time not. Most important is that uh, my carriers are and my invasion fleet is now very close to Japan. I think it's impossible, I mean, always possible, but very unlikely that Kilroy will try to push to come so close to Japan. He has too much air power waiting for him. And Iwo Jima is not Iwo Jima, Shijijima. Uh, these are my torpedo bomb, uh, dive bombers. Still a little under repair and getting the fatigue down. And then I uh, will transfer them all to uh, Japan. And I think I have, uh, I don't know more exactly where. In Takao, I think I prepare some fighters. Oh, uh, yeah. I think this was the air group I sent from China because I had really no Oscars left. So I prepared two Oscar wings, bring them here. And uh, these are highly skillful pilots. I can send them to uh, Chishijima to give me a forward base that I can maybe in the future, if I get my battle cruisers back and my carriers, that I go first to Ichijima. This is a location where I have strong uh, cap fighters. And uh, from here, it's, very, it's only one day trip to Marcus Island with my carriers. Or also one day trip to Pegan, maybe two days to Saipan. Depending if you use normal speed or full speed. Good. Most important is the threat of losing my carriers is, I think, now totally over. There's no fire damage more. Engine damage, flotation damage is also not too high. The system damage, yeah, of course, but uh, it need for sure two weeks to fix these two carriers uh, yeah at the same time I'm not more sure yeah so I have here also one more carrier coming in roughly one month um, and I don't know more my other carriers so these are all in Singapore all in Singapore yeah so I have only these damage carriers and I have the Singapore carriers. And the arrest is only escort stuff. Hmm. Mm. 
My battleships are also under repair. So you can only see in this uh, overview, ships are in a task force already in port. If a ship is under repair, port side or whatever, uh, if it's, I think if it's ready to go out, you can also see it. But if it's a uh, stand down or in shipyard, something like this, then you will not see it here. So these are always an overview of ready ships, active ships, they call it. Active ships, I would call it maybe ready ships, but anyway. This is a good overview. I always check this. Normally at the end of the turn, I always check where is my carriers, escort carriers, battleships and cruisers in my submarines to get a quick overview where is my ships and if there's something in port left. Here you can see that I have a lot of, this is all my submarines getting damaged over time. I keep them all in Omaya simply because I have the hope if I take, if I can take Auckland, I have a shipyard. And of course the way from Nomaya to Auckland is very close and much easier for me to fix the damage there and not send them back to Japan. Uh, but uh, I have you now more and more submarines piling up in Nomaya. There's also a submarine coming back to Singapore, this is okay. This is already in Singapore. There's also a highly damaged uh, submarine just barely come back to Nomaya. I think this was a robot some days ago, it only had one hit or two hits and creating already a lot of damage here. So, good. Then, see you next time, take care, bye bye.